Good morning and welcome to Wake Up in the Word. Thanks for joining me this morning. Grab a good cup of coffee. I'm going to only give you about a half of one verse this morning as we do a just a special memorial in honor of that loved one you may have just lost as I think about a dear friend whose funeral service is today. So join me. We're going to be looking at a, another one of Kevin Hartnett's devotionals, and we're going to use just a piece of one verse from John chapter 14. So as you join me, I covet your prayers for the Mike Haltewanger family, for Sherry, Derek, Dane, and all the grandchildren who suddenly this past week lost Mike, 50 years of marriage, fantastic family. What a blessing you guys were to us when we were there uh, pastoring Second Baptist Church in Beach Island, South Carolina. And uh, Mike's sudden passing, I know, is something everyone's having to deal with. But there's something that we must face, isn't it? The fact that God is in control. Jesus is still Lord. And Mike knew Jesus down deep in his heart and served him. Had done a lot of great things and being involved in missions and church. And uh, listen, the, the hope that we have in Jesus Christ supersedes all the pain and the suffering you might be feeling right now. So as we recognize your pain and the hurt and the grief, and we pray for the family and ask for God's comfort, the comfort of his Holy Spirit, we point you to one verse of scripture in John chapter 14, verse two, the very last thing Jesus said there is, I am going away to prepare a place for you. Think about that again. I am going away to prepare a place for you. You know, that's what Jesus has been doing since he left us. He's been busy in heaven preparing places for his followers. And if you're one of those followers of Jesus, he's preparing a place for you. Well, Mike's place was absolutely ready last Saturday. It was ready for his arrival. He is absent from the body and at home with the Lord. One day my place and your place will be ready. And if that happens before Jesus returns physically, we will leave this body and go to be with him. That's not something to grieve over for our, from our standpoint. Yes, those who are left behind have a hurting, empty place in their heart, and, and they need God's comfort. But for those of us who leave the body to be with Jesus, it will be the most glorious, wonderful thing ever. We'll put aside the pain and the suffering of this age and the turmoil of the anxiety that comes with this world that's gone crazy, and we will instead put on the glories of God in his heaven, all purchased by the precious blood of Jesus Christ at the cross of Calvary. He is Lord, my friends, and that's what we celebrate this Friday. So I say if you've lost a loved one recently, if you've had to deal with that same pain and suffering, hear these words. Remember ultimately that Jesus is Lord. And as Kevin Hartnett writes, there is nothing greater or more desirable than God no person, thing, idea, dream, or hope. The wonders of creation in the sky above and the earth below, in all their diversity, majesty, power, sophistication, elegance, and beauty, have poured out from the Lord as the profound words of a uniquely divine orator. Everything wonderful and praiseworthy in the universe was his idea, spoken into existence, by his incomparable almighty being. At the end of the age, on the great day, every knee will bow and every tongue confess that he is Lord. Even now, his astounded creation worships him. The seraphim who fly around his throne, the great army of his redeemed from every tongue and tribe, the trees of the field, the fish of the seas, even the very rocks here groan and cry out his praise. But his name, his great name, the I am that I am, is exalted above all blessing and praise. Even today, as you hear this, bend the knee of your soul and worship him. Nothing pleases him more. Nothing in your day is as right for you to do, because he 
is the Lord. We celebrate the Lordship of Jesus today and submit to his will in all things and recognize that ultimately every question will be answered, every promise fulfilled. And today, Mike, we celebrate the fact that that's already happening with you. Well, God bless you all. And even in our grief and our sorrow, we recognize Jesus Christ sits on the throne today. We worship him, love him, and allow his hope to hold our hearts together. Well, God bless you. You have a great day in the Lord. I'll see you again tomorrow as we have a biblical perspective in each and every day next week as we wake up in God's word till Jesus comes.